Wake up. Hey there, everyone. The Cell Gal playing the Outer Wilds. And honestly, I mean, today's pretty obvious where we're going to be going. Today, we are applying the knowledge that I have gained. And I feel like I just kind of have to go because, like, the process of moving through uh, Ramble is just. I think the reason why I want to keep calling it Giant Z is because of the fish and all that. I keep thinking it's underwater. I think that's where that's coming from. But point is, yeah, we're just going to be drifting and I don't know how much time I have. Uh, like, that's sort of... Oh. Um, like, that's sort of, um... What am I... What am I thinking about here? Had a thought in mind, but then it left... Um, something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, sort of like how, like, the escape pod. I feel like yesterday I just kind of, like, zoomed through. And, like, I wanted to look around where you get, like, all the... The stuck researchers... Just kind of like, you know, in a mess around the seat and whatnot, but I just feel like you can't. You know, like, you have an actually limited time space to be able to do anything. And I don't know how much I need, because drifting is just not very fast. Alright, so, applying the knowledge that we've gained means that first we go... We venture through the brown space, which is relatively safe. There's a few fish, but honestly, barely. And that's fine. We go to where the ship is, and to green space. Green space, as far as I know, has no fish? Maybe they're very subtle. So, like, here you are totally able to just kind of approach. You approach. Then the signal is gonna leave for that corner. That has been pretty consistent. So here we go, just kind of, uh, uh, and get a push, and then you just go. Don't take any chances, don't be stupid, just give it a go. Yeah, so this one is like right against the walls, it's relatively safe. So the way I think this is constructed now is we got this layer, and then, you know, like technically you have the portal feldspar, you have the red portal, and you have... The portal to the vessel like all the portals like I don't think they're layers of deep I think they're all like sideways to one another um, for lack of a better description and uh, yeah it's just space does does make a whole lot of sense here uh, you know what that happens that happens in a giant parasitically destroyed planet that was ripped apart by giant vines and populated with massive anglerfish that have an intradimensional egg nest uh, stuffed away in there, you know, for a rainy day. Uh, so I'm right and I'm right and, and I'm going home, the lights disappear because now we can see the nut. Yeah. So you just kind of throw yourself at it and there's just no fish. And also, to repeat myself a little bit, I have not seen any fit. Like, I have been eaten, as I mentioned, so I know they're there. I guess maybe they're just away. But here, though, I haven't ever gone any. But that doesn't mean I should start being all, like, risky for no reason, mind you. But this one, you can safely get in. Then it's like, whoop. Then, yeah, those are the sound. There we go. That's where we're going. Whoop, whoop. So, we're gonna. Ugh. All right, we're gonna throw ourselves in that direction. Don't be afraid. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this one has all the big, chunky pieces spinning around. Yeah, I mean, if the I wonder if the vessel flew through here or you know, a valid line of questioning. Honestly, I am feeling pretty confident in being able to just drive in this half. So then you go in here. Like you go in the Bramble Passage. Whoop, then you, you caught on something. Hey, look at that. Something going on up there. I wonder what that could mean. Go, piece of crystal floating by. It happens. Probably remove you because you make a staticky sound that I don't care much for. Here we go. Again, like I'm 
zooming through this to make sure I have the most amount of time possible to do the drift part. All right. So here we go. Uh, whoa. Here you go. All these guys just floating there. Like, he's just all dead. All perfectly preserved. It's pretty messed up. That is pretty sad. Like, there's so much positivity in, like, the know my life that you experience in this game. But, like, a solid third of the escape crew, like, th this is them. This is what happened to them. It's, um, it's kind of sad. It's tragic. But, okay, so this is where things matter. So, as far as I can tell, like I said, you can approach this relatively safely. And I think it's done like that on purpose. Because here, we just got a flung. So, you find a nice, solid angle that looks safe. Uh, this looks good. And you just kind of go. No moving from now on. Uh, okay, you know what? Aye, aye, there we go. Now just fling. Whoosh! Whooshin. Like, it looks like you approach really fast, but then the universe, <laughs> universe resets a little bit. I guess it's to make sure you fit in real snugly. Next, Yeah, these fish don't got any eyes. I love how it makes you ride, like, right between the beast and its eye stalk. Except it's not an eye, it's just a light source. So listen. Don't move at all until I stop hearing to them to breathe. And that's when I'm going to readjust myself with my scout, and that's when I'm gonna go. Still breathing. It's like at around 1.2, I think. No, I think it's gonna be a little bit before that. I don't know, I'm not sure. Still breathing. See, if I can hear them, they can hear me. That's my logic. Such tortured breathing sounds, though. Okay, I can't hear them anymore. Oh, just barely. So we're gonna get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Very light. I'm gonna do it. There we go. That's all I did. Okay, they're still far away, so my movement was minimal enough that I don't think they noticed. Except here I might ram into that bramble wall. I guess we'll see. Everything is definitely pink. Alright, welcome to the Blood waters. Okay, I might just barely clear that, but like also where I'm going is gonna get real dense with Bramble. So it might just be generally pretty safe. Is that another nut I'm entering? Or is that just like a big thing? I mean, no, no, okay, it's just a gnarl. No, it's another nut. It's a big one. Okay, at this point, I think it's safe. So, no, so there. Yeah, it's not safe, but I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in. This is yellow and bright. Quite a delight. This is new. I don't know what to expect. I'm centered in. I'm boosting forward. Like I said, I don't know what to expect, but that's looking pretty spaceshipy, doesn't it? Yeah, by the time I finish that sentence, I could see the flashing lights. Here we are. A 200,000 year old spaceship. And the music is well aware of it. 
Wow, no, yeah, this really puts to mind the fact that we've been encountering little escape droids. This is the real thing. Is that a separate little thing? I don't know. Like, is one day enough to be able to explore this thing? Oh boy, okay. Uh, can I go from here? I mean, there's a massive hole. If there's any entrance, <laughs> there's gonna be here. Alright. Hey, it's my scout! Hey, buddy. Doink. Ooh, okay, so this is what I was hoping for. If I get a ship log update, this to me implies that going forward, I should be able to just go into the red immediately and not have to go and throw my, 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 my guy in, right? That's the implication. Alright, I need to find a way in. That's like a landing something. Yeah, this thing is a little bit big. <laughs> a little bit. It's a little... Okay, maybe I can go inside those, like, massive... Like, lines? Like, netting? Or is there gonna be glass? I should have refueled. But I didn't. Alright, I can just get in there. I need to find an entrance. Uh, maybe some people are like, Oh, cow, you missed it! It was, like, right here. And you know what? I didn't see it, so... It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> yeah, I do not have a concept for what would be the front of this thing. I thought it would go, like, it looked like brambles are, like, sticking into it in parts, but it just doesn't seem to matter. Like, this is the bramble takes up the whole hole they've made eventually. Considering these branches are able to rip planets apart, like, it is no surprise that they're able to just go right into this thing. I need to find an entrance, though. Alright, here there's... Wow, oh, you can barely tell if my... If my, uh, light is open. Can I go in this window, for example? Yeah, nope. Yeah, that's not a window, is the problem. Really? Can I not go in there? Like, that looks like a hole. Right next to the skeleton. Maybe I just saw that. Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 this is where you go. I just... Okay, I misunderstood this. Got it. Is this plant still working as a plant? Sure isn't. Wow, so here we are. Um, big ol' no my spacecraft. I'm a little bit sideways, as you do. There's a big thing over there. I'm gonna run out of fuel soon. Okay, so it's just like all of these are completely sealed off. Normally, once upon a time, they might have been doors, but... They haven't been able to door for very long. This one, though, was slammed open instead. And what do I see here? Ship log and trees. Uh, yeah, those are useful. That looks like some kind of engine. There's a skeleton. He... Trying to do something. That's a warp core. If I do that. I've connected something with the warp core, I guess. Warp core. Uh, if I do that. Hexagon. Oh, wait a second. It's three hexagons. It's three hexagons! It's where I would, uh... 
Really? That's their process to input information? Like, if I would say, for example, do this, you would put it there, put it there, and then you would make it go... No, I messed up. How do I delete? How do I delete? Okay, you can delete and just... See, that's one of them. The other one was a ribbon? I don't have a ball, though. Do you... Oh, shnut. Um... I... Can I just... Okay, I can just... No, okay. So, like, stay there. Then I... Whoa! Okay. Okay. As long as I have trees around, I can do whatever I want. So then here, you would, like... Uh... Nope, nope, wrong, wrong, nope, 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 stop, stop, stop. Yeah, so do that, then that. Then go here. Uh huh. Whoosh. And then here you get like that big weird, like electric N. Uh uh. Put it there. See, now the symbols make sense, if this is their input method. Okay. Here we go! Input, inputted. Uh. If that goes down, then you can go fire it up! Betty! And then nothing happens. Because... This thing isn't on. That is... What do they call it? A warp core? <sighs> I need to find a warp core. And I need to slam it in there. I need to find a warp core. I put it in there. And then... Something's gonna be powered up. And I'm going to... In theory, go to the eye, right? So I got basically one last thing to figure out. Where's a warp core? There's not a whole lot to do, it turns out, it feels like, because all the doors are shut here and the Nomai main ship. But this is because the thing you do have to do is kind of major. Oh, writing. Ah, I thought this was weirdly quiet. Okay. Perfect. All right, get out of here. I'm gonna need to. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Big old whiteboard. All right. Yeah. Please do. Okay. Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp. So they can warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quick as possible. Oh, I can barely. Uh, there we go. Our vessel appears to have has fused. Yeah, the vines are really hungry. Hangry, um, they're, they're sticky. Sticky vines. Uh. Wow, so that's been just happening, like, not progressively through time, but just kind of happening. Ah, uh. oh, Jesus, sad. Oh, man. They have all the space for further communication, but it's just not happening. What about uh, the other wall? So I think that color means they're receiving. Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah. Anyone of us can hear this message? That's Kana. It's clear the universe is dying. That's back when they were writing this. Imagine now. Can reach a glo gloaming galaxy. Black rock suns are fairly stable. Huh. Whoops. So we kind of make our way to you.
Disappearance of Veskal. Out of existence, that's wild. Huh. It's kind of a bit too far away. This is. But yeah, stars were unstable all that time ago. So that looks to be before the accident. This is after the accident. If there's any other writing here, I haven't seen it. It doesn't help that I'm upside down relative to the ship. There's a warp core. There's been a lot of writings about warp cores, right? Let's return to my ship. Let's actually do some log interpretation live. Like, this is something I could be doing on my own with my notes, but since I have a bit of time before the end, might as well use it. Oh yeah, I'm using my air to move, but that's fine. Like, I just need to get here. Well, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that this implies that I'm going to have to redo this trip um, with a core, possibly. Whatever. Like, I'll know how it works. I'll know what to do. Unless I'm supposed to repair this. I guess that's not impossible. Alright. Have fun, computer! Doing things tonight. Oh, I can do like a search for like core. What about core? No, my grave. The vessel. Yeah, so. I can. Triggers. So I can. Whoops, press the wrong button. Two times. I can mark this and I can just go there from there. Whoops. This is a stranger. It's the quantum moon. I can hear the hum. The end is gonna come as I'm looking around in my computer like some kind of turbo nerd you know what no i refuse but what else am i gonna do ah <sighs> you know what I, w I would say let's view the end from the map but the game won't even let me do that because i'm like outside of space at this point ah <sighs> all right this is the end Warp core. Warp and core. Together at last. Couldn't meditate, but yeah, I mean, 